so evidently a bunch of rabbis made a superhero <laughs> Welcome back, Sidekicks. Max Reed here. This week, our uh, hero highlight is going to be on one Rory Regan. Reagan. Regan. I think it's Regan. I'll stick with that. But you uh, might might know him better as DC Comics Ragman from Gotham City. So a little bit of history. Uh, um, back Back in the day... There was a, uh, a giant ghetto that was created in, in the city of Prague uh, during uh, the beginning or the ending of the Bohemian Revolution. I think it's before the Bohemian Revolution. Don't quite remember. But what I do know is that, uh, that all the Jews were, were forced into this ghetto, in this, in this walled city. And uh, the rabbis got together and they created uh, a golem. Um, and this is uh, a historical story, um, lots of uh, evidence to support the possibility of them uh, creating this golem, um, at least in their folklore, uh, a lot of stories about the golem. But one thing that, that about the golem that they, that they, couldn't, uh, they couldn't handle him, he was, he was too powerful, they couldn't control him, they were worried. And so, according to DC Comics, they, uh, they had another avenue they created what was known as the Ragman. And the Ragman was uh, um, the, a, a tool for justice to, to keep the Jewish people safe. Now, fast forward a lot of years, Gotham City has a, a couple of Jewish people living in it. One of them, his name is uh, Rory Regan. And his father, and he run a, uh, a, a thrift store called uh, Rags and Tattles. That, that sounds rags and tattles maybe and what happens is uh, some drug guys come in and they say hey we're going to use your store as a front for drug running they didn't like that so they decided to instead uh, refuse and so they both got beat um, the father was killed and Rory ended up in the hospital they thought he was dead as well uh, but he was saved by a, a local homeless man um, a friend so after he uh, recovers from the hospital, he comes out and uh, he goes back to the shop and the drug people have taken over the shop, uh, posing as, as an aunt and uncle for, for Rory. And so he sneaks in and gets a costume that was sitting in a box in there. It turns out this costume was the Ragman costume. And the Ragman costume has had some retcons uh, over the over the years, but the most recent incarnation, I believe, uh, is that it is actually every single patch on this uh, costume. It's it's just a whole bunch of patches sewn together. It's that they're actually the 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 captured souls of the condemned, and that the uh, the Ragman, as told to Rory by a rabbi friend that he has. Um, is that the uh, the ragman has always been a tool for justice, and that when he goes and and uh, uh, defeats bad guys, he sucks in their soul, and it becomes a new patch on the costume. And uh, so you know, it's 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 a clever backstory. Um, it's got a lot of uh, good uh, uh, history to it. But some something that that does happen though, is that I uh, <laughs> that. Now there's a guy running around stealing people's souls. And uh, there's someone else in Gotham City who probably doesn't like that very much. You might know him uh, by the name of Batman. Um, and <laughs> uh, he and Ragman have gotten into a few tussles. Um, but he's he's been a, a consistent part helping out uh, every once in a while with, with uh, one thing or another. Um, but let me just talk a, a few of his his powers are, are really really uh, diverse and incredible uh, he can fly um, he has super strength super speed uh, the ability to suck people's souls into his costume um, he also because of, of the souls that are in the costume that's where he gets his strength and speed he can he can pull the uh, the, the, the essences the, the powers of those souls that he has trapped in there 
he can use those and 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 uh, increase his strength or his speed. But at the same time, there's also some some drawbacks. Um, as as he has those souls in there, he's trying to save the day. He's trying to fight a bad guy. But there's also souls inside that are 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 causing uh, turmoil. That that he's having to fight as well. He has to fight internally as well as externally. Um, now some some other things that, that I really. I, I found some really good correlations between him and Spawn. Um, uh, also, uh, Venom, um, Spider-Man's Venom, and, and the reason why is because several several things. One is that his his costume has a few other abilities outside of the super strength and speed, and the whole soul catching stuff. Um, it, he can actually transform it into other shapes. He can uh, utilize it to uh, create weapons, blades come out of the out of the material. It, it's really, really uh, complex what he can do, and we've seen that they've actually utilized him in uh, more capacities in in recent years. He actually uh, became a member of the Sentinels of Magic, as well as uh, the group Shadow Pack, um, Shadow, Shadow Pact. Uh, so those he's he's been part of that group and and utilized more uh, readily, as well as uh, many times he's teamed up with Batman or with uh, Batman's cohorts to try to uh, keep Gotham you know nice and nice and uh, cleaned up. But of course, there's going to be those inner turmoils. He's killing people. He's sucking souls. He's that's something that Batman's not necessarily going to be uh, on board with. So. We'll see how this uh, plays out in the future. I have not yet read any of the, um, uh, as you guys may know, I have not yet read any of the of the new 52, any of the um, DC Comics past the most recent retcon or or the soft reboot, uh, if you will. So I'm uh, I'm still, you know, working my way to that. We'll get to that. We're going to have lots of, of stuff. So we'll see what happens in the future with Ragman. Um, all in all, great character. I like to see the dynamic, and I'm hoping that we see more of him. Uh, as always, like, uh, comment, subscribe, share this video. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Do you think that he is a good hero or uh, more of an anti-hero, or, or is he actually a villain that we just uh, put up with? Uh, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. Thanks. I'll catch you guys later. Thank you.